course in the GMP program is uh, it's designed to give general managers um, kind of a broader perspective of how marketing works within their organization. And I think one of the issues is that GMs are often so focused on their, the operations, the day to day, that the marketing that they see is often the end result. It's the advertising or the social media campaign, um, it's the brochures or what their sales staff is doing. And that is, th those elements are really the end result of a much more extensive process. And so strategic marketing is trying to give them that perspective of what that process is. So for example, um, you know, I start off by asking them who's responsible for marketing in their organization. And many of the general managers will say, well, we have a marketing team or we've got a, a salesperson. And it's pretty soon they realize that where I'm going with this is that they're responsible for marketing. And in fact, um, most everyone in their organization is responsible. Um, because from the, the guest perspective, every employee represents the brand. So whether it's the housekeeping staff or the general manager on the floor, the, the guest is looking at that individual as the embodiment of the brand, which means the marketing has to be something that is, um, is directed at employees as well as the external customers. So we, we spend a good portion of the class just getting, wrapping our hands around uh, what marketing is, especially how it's evolved. So the role that marketing plays in uh, being the voice of the customer, so the role of marketing research, um, and of really understanding at a very fundamental level what the needs and wants are of uh, each manager's guests. And, and I think the, their tendency is to think in terms of needs and wants as what they have to offer. So they take a very product-focused approach. And we, we try to take a step back and say, just because you offer 16 conference rooms and a golf course and a pool, that's not what your guests are coming for. These are the things you offer. What you really have to understand are the underlying needs that motivate the choice of your property over another one. So we talk about consumer psychology. Uh, we talk about evolving markets and how new, new travelers, business travelers or leisure travelers are quite different than the travelers of 10 years ago and the kind of things that they need and the, uh, the product attributes that they look for. Um, we spend a good portion of the time looking at how the marketing environment is changing, whether it's sustainability or the emergence of mobile technology is a way in which customers want to get information about their, their choices, their hotel choices, and even how mobile technology is being used to change the whole stay experience. Um, we, as a, that's sort of the setup to what the course is as a, as a background. And then we shift into strategy and we discuss the role of brands and what brands really are and what a brand promise is. And that's a place where many GMs get stuck because it's difficult to articulate a brand promise using the voice of the customer. Uh, and it's critical because that brand promise then becomes the, the base upon which you develop the product, you make um, service innovations, uh, it's how you train your staff. And they really have to understand what the brand is about and why customers want to engage with the brand. Uh, and that brand promise is also the anchor of the whole marketing communications campaign. So we look at how, how a strong brand promise can be articulated into the product itself and then how it can be symbolized in the various ways in which the, the brand communicates um, across stakeholders. So again, internal stakeholders through training programs, uh, and then external stakeholders through marketing communications. And new media, so things like um, streaming video on websites, which are becoming very stylized ways to suggest what the stay experience is like, um, as well as the consumer-generated media, and how that brand promise still has to be something that shapes the conversation that um, the, the property's social media specialist has with, uh, with guests. So it's, I love teaching this class because it's extremely dynamic. It, it changes uh, each time I do it, and especially as the way, the way in which uh, the customers change, the marketing environment changes, 
and the way in which marketing communications are evolving at a very rapid pace. Um, so I think for, for managers, what they come away with is not a tactical view of, well, this is how I should be specifically designing my social media campaign. But instead, they come away with a big picture view of how marketing um, integrates the various functions in the hotel operation. How marketing really is kind of the link between uh, the customer and operations and HR and then the external voice, you know, reaching out to the customer. And how hard it can be to build uh, a, a clear brand voice without knowing up front what it is that the customer is really looking for as far as an experience. So um, I find that many of the participants come away saying, I am amazed that we do our marketing the way we do. I want to go back and I want to change things. I want to reanalyze our marketing communications to think if there's a better way in which we could be symbolizing the brand. So I think there's a lot of these aha moments when you say, I don't know why we're doing it this way. And I think now we should be taking a much more simple view using the voice of the customer to understand how we can do our marketing differently. Um, I like to see that enthusiasm at the end of the class where there's sort of this moment where it all comes together and where it makes, where marketing is not just, again, this, this advertising piece, but they start to realize just how well it, uh, it really is threaded throughout the hospitality operations.